Hey guys, what's up? This is Agatardi 2744 here today to take a close look at some of the features and full review over pages available for the iPad for $9.99. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into this review. Alright guys, so finally taking a closer look at pages here, like I said, basically what it allows you to do is create, edit, and distribute your documents on the iPad. If you are familiar with pages on the Mac, basically what the iPad version is, is just a little broken down version of the one on the Mac. So basically what you're going to go ahead and do is click create a new document and you're going to get 16 templates to choose from that come default on this application created by Apple. I'm going to go ahead and select project proposal. Uh, now within the default template, they're going to have examples here where you can see where everything is. As you guys can see, I have an image here. If I want to go ahead and move that image, I can do so as you guys can see right there. Uh, if I want to move anything, basically, if I want to move this image, I can move that. Let's go ahead and put that over there. Uh, if I want to replace this title here, I can type in iPad 2 and possibly any of the text below here. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Right here, I can go ahead and select all this. And I can replace it with some text, as you guys can see right there. Overall, like I said, just creating, editing, and distributing documents. That's what it's all about. Go ahead and put down the keyboard, and as you guys can see, there's what I just did. Uh, now, with the paragraphs here, those are obviously just examples, so you want to go ahead and eliminate those. Then you can type whatever you want there, as seen right there. Now, there's something you can do with the image here, which is pretty nice. Instead of just having that image, which is available as a template image, like I said, you can move it. Uh, you can do things like mask it here, make it bigger, make it smaller, fit the screen better, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Or you can simply go ahead in here and select a picture of your own. I'm going to go ahead and select one that I picked with the iPad 2 back facing camera. I actually took that yesterday, right there as you guys can see. Uh, you can do things like go up here. You can edit anything on the page that's seen. I'm going to put Guitar D2744. And let's just go ahead and say that's the end of my document there. Like I said, anything on the pages are edited. And you can have more than one, two pages here. Uh, as you guys can see, this is just two pages, but you can have a lot more, like I said. You can go up here with your settings. You can find a document. You can print your documents to your wireless printer. You can go ahead and go to the document setup, which will allow you to basically go through and edit all your documents here. Uh, basically, the template, if you want to move that. If you want to move the edges of your document, make them a little bit wider, as you guys can see. It does say... Basically, it just says the size over here and the size of the overall paper there. And you can go ahead and change anything you want with the template on the document itself, which is pretty cool. Also, in settings, you have the options to get from more settings, as you guys can see right here, which is like check spelling, make sure that you basically don't misspell anything on your document. Uh, word count, you can center guides and edge guides and all that stuff. Also, you can go here and you can enter media, which includes photo albums and stuff. Enter tables, which you can select from a variety of different tables, as you guys can see right there. You can enter charts here, as you guys can see. Fill out your data and it'll go ahead and chart that for you. Or you can simply go ahead and enter shapes, uh, which, like I said, there's a lot of shapes to pick from. I'm going to go ahead and select this one, per se. Uh, within the shape, especially this bubble, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and type in hua. I don't know why, but there you go. And then you can, from there, you can just go ahead and move it wherever you want to move it. Uh, so let's say, yeah, let's just make the cloud talk. There you go. The cloud is saying hua. Once you're done with the document, you can go ahead and go back to my documents. It'll be automatically saved right there. Your final document, like I said, anything on the page itself is edited. You can feel free to add more page, more pages, uh, more titles, more text, more photos there's basically no limit on uh, pages once you're done you can go ahead and hit this arrow and distribute it you can either email the document share via iwork.com send to your itunes copy to idisk or copy to the web uh, and then also you can go here and copy from itunes copy from idisk copy from web basically copying those documents that's Pages, available for the iPad. I want to go ahead and thank you all for watching this Agatardi 2744. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to see more of the iPhone iPad Touch iPad. Please also be sure to go ahead and visit in the description below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and my live shows. I'll probably do a live show tonight. Uh, please also be sure to leave your comments as well as thumbs up this video. Thank you guys for watching this Agatardi 2744.